Hi, everybody. Today, I'm joined by a colleague, Tomasz. Tomasz, would you like to introduce yourself? Absolutely. Hi, Paul. My name is Tomasz Damian, and I work as a customer success manager in a cloud contact center solution provider company. OK, um, we're going to get to that in a minute. But first question is, I'd love to know what got you into that role? So I started my journey with an IT industry like five years ago, and it was absolutely unexplored area for me at that time. Because before joining IT World, I was working as a teacher and also as a psychopedagogist. But at some point I decided why not to take up a new opportunity and I started to search for jobs. And then I discovered that most of the jobs are within the IT industry. So I thought, yeah, that the fastest growing business, why not to give it a try? And I started my journey as a technical support engineer. And to be honest, that was a really good decision at that time, because I've learned how important for our customers is to have a fully operational product. What challenges do they have? And how crucial is to have an action plan and a backup plan in case something is not working? From the technical support um, engineer role, I've moved to the customer community consultant role, which was mostly focusing on a technical tech touch with our customers. I was arranging some webinars, trainings based on the solution we've provided as a company and also advise customers on the best practices and how they can align their strategy with our products. And from this role, I've moved to the current role I have, so CSM, and I need to admit that the previous experience helped me a lot with the current approach I have. Okay, so I think I knew about most of that um, and watched you with interest, but the bit I didn't know was the teacher. So just uh, quickly, what were you teaching? Oh, I was uh, teaching English in a secondary school. Okay, in Poland. In Poland, exactly. Yeah, okay. Or two that's years. A, yeah, okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Um, so tell me then now about the function of customer success management. So I would say that the main function of being CSM is to be the voice of a customer. So as CSMs, we need to make sure that our business recognize our customers' needs. What requirements do they have and what, what they want to achieve while using our product or our same service? So we are the voice of a customer because we know our customers best. And this brings us to another function. Our customers, we need to help them with identifying their own definition of success because each customer is unique and we need to align the strategy or also our actions based on uh, our customers' strategies, business goals, and so on. So this is a crucial factor when working with customers because if we help them define their own definition of success, we can set up the right expectations from the beginning which is really useful when you work with the customers because they can then predict what they will get from us. And let me now quote Rory Vaden. He's the leadership speaker and writer who said um, once that the success is never owned, it's rented. And the rent is due to every day. And as being CSM, that's a crucial thing to know that once we help our customer achieve their success, there is nothing that will allow us to slow down or to create a perception that there is no need to, let's say, do something uh, for our customers or to help them achieve something else because we've already ticked the checkbox. And the crucial factor in being CSM is to provide a value to our customers in every interaction we, need, we have with them. We need to be aware that they dedicate their time they tell us about their strategies and their business. So they expect us, which is absolutely fine, to deliver a value. To summarize this answer, let me give you an analogy of a road trip that I had during one of my uh, trainings. Mm -hmm. So the, the analogy is the road trip analogy. We have a car, we have a driver, and we have a navigator. In this analogy, the car is the service, the tool that we provide our customers with. The driver is the customer. So the driver is deciding what is the start point and what is the end point, what they want to see during the journey and what path they want to see. Navigator is the CSM. And as Navigator is planning the journey, they need to also foresee some challenges and anticipate some problems. Because during the journey, there might be a traffic jam, there might be some blockers on the journey. And as CSMs, we need to have an action plan or the success plan we call it in our cadence that will also predict those obstacles that we then can 
help our customers to solve them because we have required tools and we work in a collaborative way with our customers. So this analogy clearly uh, shows that the work with our customer and the CSM is the, is the team effort. So we need to work both to achieve the goals. One cannot achieve a goal without another one. Seems that's, yeah, I've, I like the analogy a lot. And thank you for that, because I'm going to sure. use it myself when explaining um, to people that obviously I talk to about the role that you have. And it seems to me that role encompasses so much. Um, because you know you've come from the technical support background, but it, it isn't a technical role. It's much more. It seems to me a business role. Um, Absolutely. Almost like we're doing an MBA on the ground, um, on your feet, as it were. Um, so, what is it that you like most about the role? Oh, to be honest, I love the most the fact that we are building relationship with my customers. I during my uh, life, I've met a lot of outstanding people with different approaches, uh, with unconventional mindsets and unorthodox thinking. And I need to admit that because of them, or thanks to them, I'm absolutely a different person than I was, let's say, three years ago. I've learned a lot. I'm more open-minded and I see more options right now because of the relationship that I have with my customers. The other thing I like about the job is that every day is different. You cannot plan full the week or month because every customer is unique. Their requests are unique. So you cannot uh, implement the same analogy to every customer, even though as CSMs, we have our standardized cadences with our customers. Each one is different when it comes about the design, when it comes to the slider that you want to present your customers with, because every customer has a unique strategy. They have a unique vision, mission, business needs and we need to prepare that based on their requirements because CSMs, they need to deliver value, as I mentioned previously, in every interaction we have with customers. So customers, they need to see that there is a real value and real outcome that we can deliver them with. Um, the other thing I like is the solution we provide our customers with. It's constantly evolving solution based on the needs of our customers. And that makes my life easier and more enjoyable. Because my customers, they feel that they have a real impact on what is going to be on the roadmap, what we are going to produce. They join different pilots that allow them to collect some feedback, send it to us. They share that also on uh, different forums. And then they are considered by the business. So if my customer is telling me, okay, guys, that solution is brilliant, but based on our requirements, we would need to enhance this with this and that feature. I will tell them, okay, no worries. We will pick it up during our QBR meeting. We will involve someone from the product team that will listen what are your requirements. And then as the outcome, we might implement that solution so they feel that they are engaged in the process of developing the product, which is really, really nice because that makes my life easier, just saying. And the other thing I really like is that as a company, we have a free big releases during the year. So we have new features that we enhance during those releases and we announce to our customers. And they allow me to surprise my customers with some outstanding features or enhancement that they were waiting for. And what is not the best, when you see the smile of, on, on the face of your customer, surprising them with some nice functions that they were waiting for, let's say, a year, and then yeah, finally you have it. Feel free to use it and let us know if you like it. So, Thomas, um, we'll draw to a close, but I know that the feedback that the customers that, of course, I've worked with, that in essence, some way I hand over to you, you work with me on some of some of the customers that we have, um, how delighted they are to work with you. So you are a successful customer success manager. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you, Paul. It's a pleasure to talk to you.